Greetings, welcome to another video, and today we're going to talk about how things were between me and the Wild War right before this video. And I mentioned this a few times in a few videos of mine and a few streams of mine, but the Wild War Cry and I were friends once. Before this feud started, we were friends. I had a lot of respect for him. He, if you ask me then, what I would describe the Wild War Cry, I would have only like very few things that were relatively negative about him. But they were more like a friend would critique to in hopes of that friend being better because in my opinion, for being friends, it's not always talking praise about each other, kissing each other's but hypothetically and but outside of the, the very few critiques which I only had like two in general that yeah I all of the things I had to say about the Wild War Cry was good if you ask me then what well, I would describe him as awesome cool I wanted to be like him I He's older than me. I'm not going to say by how much. But he w was one of my heroes, to be honest. I looked up to him. I wanted to be like him. Despite, like, with the very few differences that we, like, had in our friendship. Because that's the thing about I had respected about the Wild War quite back when we were friends. That when we were, me and him were friends, me and him would, like, whenever we had an issue towards each other, we had enough respect for each other to talk things out, mano y mano. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, they, it might have turned into, like, arguments. But at the end of the day, even at arguments, we always came together saying, you know what? We need to resolve this if our friendship is going to last, and we did came to an agreement and that's why one of the things I respected about him that regardless of any arguments that we might have had in our friendship which is only like a very few but which friendship doesn't have arguments that I that he was always willing to talk things out and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be like him one of the reasons why he was one of my heroes. And then the, the dispute happened. And it essentially started between him and oh, another person that I consider as my friend. Er, that, yeah, consider as a friend that I care about. And something happened between those two. I'm not going to really uh, go into detail out of respect. But something happened. And there was a few times where I did have to get involved, like, whoa, gotta stop. Gotta stop right now, because you're about to cross a line that there's no coming back from. Or there's going to be a line that you might unintentionally cross that's going to be really hard to come back from. You're going to take some, some damage, but it's going to be kind of hard to get back from the right side of the line. Stuff like that. So, outside of that, I tried not to really get involved, because I figured it was only between those two. Then the issue got a bit worse, and I'm not going to tell y'all the info, just that by the time me and him had his a uh, falling out, he was, he brought my name into the mix, I forgot what exactly, that soon enough to be long, he, he went over the line, and in terms of like bashing out like either me or one of my friends, I think it was one of my friends, and I was trying to. And by then, our friendship was already falling apart. I was trying to be as private and respectful about it as I could by handling this privately at first. At first, handling it privately at first. And but besides being the guy that I, the great guy I just described, he ran. Some can say that he's a coward, 
not the word I'm going to use out of self-respect for me, but he ran. He, and I was one of those people when this, like, when this whole situation that essentially started our feud happened, I was one of those very few people that was trying to stay neutral in all of this, was like, was on both sides. I was trying to help the person I'm considered friend side and his side as well. I was trying to help them feel better, help their situation on both sides where it will be less damage on both sides. But and this is how he repays me, this is how he thanks me by unnecessarily bashing me or one of my first I forget. And that was I was over my line too, so of course I'm gonna make a video. I mean, of course I'm gonna have enough and make eventually make a video publicly calling his shit out. And I mean not even, not even twenty videos at this point calling multiple stuff that the Wild War Cry has done. Like in terms of unnecessarily putting my name into the mix where has no problem doing. Him unnecessarily bashing my friends. Now there's been a few times when he has bashed some of my friends. And I'm the type of person that if I ha can, I will defend my friends. And those of you who are up to me, I consider my friends. But there's been a few times when I see and I see that my friends were in the wrong on what they were doing. And I did get on their case about it too. So I'm not exactly always taking the Wild War Cry side. I'm not exactly always defending my friends, per se, because I also kind of get on my friends' case, too, at times. But there was, and truthfully, I don't really check his YouTube. The only times I really check his YouTube is if I hear that he is unfairly bashing one of my friends or unnecessarily bring me into the mix. So yeah, I do check. I do check his channel. I do check like the last videos last stream that my the person is referring to. Just so if I do make a video, I won't exactly look like a fool. Well, there's been a few streams that the Wild War Cry has uh, taken down, and there's this one where I wasn't aware that he was streaming. That one of my friends that is subscribed to me. Uh, told me, hey, the Wild War Cry, yeah, he's bashing you. And just for the record, I never sent anyone on his channel to spy or t to s try to start shit, because I don't believe in trying to start shit. So, I I decided to go check this out, what my friend was telling me. And it was to this guy named Ben the Gamer who was call rightfully calling the Wild War Cry out on being an asshole. And I made a video with one of my friends, calling him out, to sarcastically, because the Wild War Cry did say, "Oh, go to Phil's channel." Like, didn't you just realize if you were trying to not promote me by saying go to Phil's channel? did promote me so thank you for the free promo <laughs> and then I had an idea why don't I use part of that stream the part where he put my name in your, his mouth and show you guys proof adding on to the point that I made in that last video I was talking about the thank you while I work right for you so I made a video with the same friend tattling it Calling out the Wild War Cry, something like that. And, which I did have made a playlist of me calling out the Wild War Cry. Just my half. And I did use that uh, stream audio. And I'm sure glad that I did. Because, long and behold, not even a full 24 hours set in. The Wild War Cry has deleted that stream. Go check. Me calling, like, calling the Wild War Cry out video, I believe is why I called it. And then, check on his channel if you can hear that audio.
Because I'm willing to bet you can't find that video. Because, you know why? Because he deleted it. He deleted it. And... You know why he's, he deleted it? So he can try to act like he didn't... Act like he's playing the... Like he's the victim. Acting like he's the a victim. When in that stream he unnecessarily decided to put my name, my mouth, I mean my name in his mouth, assuming that I had something to do with the whole Ben the Gamer thing, when I had nothing to do with the whole Ben the Gamer thing, I didn't know who this Ben the Gamer thing guy was, and I am honestly thankful he called the Wild Warcry out, and I'm even more thankful that I had the idea, hey, let me use those audio from part of the audio from that stream that he ended up deleting so I called him out the next day once I found out in the video stream that he deleted the video and there was one time when he called one of my friends Bill Snig the, the short version of the n-word now I called him out too on that when I heard that cause my friend actually texted me the one who actually he called mine and word and my friend had every right to be upset i was upset any no normal person with common sense would be upset with that so what did i do i can't tell you what i did i made a video calling him out i had some backlash to it and yet what well, i got it what well, I got like bullied because I was defending my friend, calling you out on what you did wrong, which you know you did wrong. That's why you deleted that comment and acting like you didn't uh, say it. And it's funny. It's kind of funny because there is one person who I don't know if they're currently sub to you anymore, but at one point, was sub to you. And they even were, commented on one of my recent videos about you, while work, right? And they did say that you did call me, me the N-word. And by the way, by calling me my friend, Bill Snig, you also called me the N-word, by the way, whether you were intending to or not. But this person who I once upon a time was sub to you, I don't know if he's still sub to you now, but they told, they commented on my channel saying that they were in the stream when you called me the N word. And they noticed that you deleted that stream. And how you are being in denial that you said that. And how you, like, oh yeah, and you deleted that stream. So that, if one of your subs, or ex-subs, whatever, notices that. And comments that on my video. And apologizes for bashing me, for calling you out, rightfully so. And, yeah, and just apologize for me for unfairly bashing me out of defending my friend, which I had every single right of doing, in that scenario especially. That should be saying something. That should be saying to everyone of, like, the people that has been criticizing me that's a sub to Wild War Cry that if one person sees it, and, well, like, at least part of what I'm talking about, was sub to Wild Warcraft once upon a time, and that should be saying something. That I'm not full of crap. I mean, you see part of Wild Warcraft stream that he deleted, should also be saying something. Because Wild Warcraft, was I took screenshots of a comment, by the way, so even if he deletes it, I can show you guys. If you PM me on Instagram, which is PhilTMNT22, he was saying, oh, in one comment that, oh, all my, all my videos are uploaded, I have not 
to read any of my videos. What are you talking about? Like, bitch, please. I got evidence, uh, like, verbal evidence. You can't even go on your cha uh, channel. People can go on your channel and see what I mean. The whole Ben the Gamer thing with Jake situation. And I even got one of your one person who was subscribed to you who admitted that on their own free will too. So like seriously. There is like unless if you man up, apologize, own up to you, what you've done and what you said. And stop making excuses for yourself. Stop trying to deny it. Actually tell the truth. Then there is like literally no way you are the, the Wild War Cry can get out this unskinned. Because I believe in taking screenshots. Because I've been over the years. There's been some people that try to screw me over. And I failed to take screenshots. I seriously have failed to take screenshots of backing me up. And it was only like within the last few years where I learned taking screenshots of stuff on the internet. If I see any like body doing something similar to what you're doing while war cry. To take screenshots as evidence in this case. And... Me doing a video where I record some of your uh, stream, thanks to my friend who had a laptop where I can could do that too with. And I decided, and so I can save that as part of evidence. So if you try to squirm, squirm out of your actions, you can't. And I have screenshots. I have one part of the stream where, like, a stream, part of a stream where you unfairly mentioned me in, where you unfairly brought me into the mix. And like I said, why I walk right, if you don't want me to really call you out while I walk right, then leave me and my friends alone. And thankfully, you haven't done any. I haven't heard anything within like within the last month. But still, and like I said, the person that you've been displaying yourself now is not the person that I once knew. It's not the person. That I looked up to. That was one of my heroes. That I wanted to be like. I genuinely wanted to be like you at one point. But after. The events that took place. That went down our. Uh, that took down our friendship. And. Some of the things that you have done. I've lost all respect for you while we work right. And. Like I said before, you want to talk, you know my PlayStation account. I constantly have been t saying in all my videos who have mentioned me new, my Twitter and Instagram, which all three, my PlayStation Network, my Instagram, and my uh, Twitter are all the same name, which I know you know my PlayStation account, which... The name is the same for my Twitter and Instagram, Wild War Cry, which for those of you who doesn't know, my Instagram account that I use for messaging is Phil DMNT, so pretty much the same as my username, my YouTube name, but in one word, just at the number 22 at the end. But... I... make these videos in hopes to 
have you see how wrong you have done. And at first I tried to handle this privately. You kept pushing me more and more into a corner where I have to, where eventually I did make a vi uh, video. Sorry to call you out in videos. And I always have the saying, if you pounce at me or my friends unfairly, I will pounce at you back in terms of if you decide to pounce at me in attack, I will pounce back in defense. And that's what I'm doing with these videos, pouncing back in defense. And if you do not like that, get the fuck away. Like in terms of, don't mention me, don't mention my friends. My friends say it's going your, like unfairly. Like, don't be bullying. Don't bully. Don't say anything negative about me. When I haven't been in your streams at all. Commenting. And don't cross the line in terms of insulting my friends. Because that's a good way of getting me to call you out. So. Yeah, so. Yeah. The great guy that I described earlier in the video. With the Wild War Cry. He... It's a totally different person than the, the one I've been calling out the last few months. The past year. So anyways. Because the one I am, have been referring to has more honor than the one that I've been calling out. And I know I'm totally referring to the same person. So it's, I count I, the person I was friends with as a totally different person than the person that I've been beauty with. Because the, my friend had more honor and self-respect than the person I've been feuding with the past year. So that's my side. I know I'm mostly going to get some criticisms because of this video. And I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. I just want to get this video out there. I know this has been mostly negative. But I wanted to try to get some positivity and in this. And have you guys have some more clarity on my side on why I have a feud with Wild War, the Wild War Cry. So, anyways, uh, I'll catch you all later, and I'll, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.